Hello there, my name is Dr Gemma Newman and I'm a GP based in West London. Today I'd like to give you a few great tips to improve your general health and prevent a variety of problems. I'd like to talk to you today about how to prevent blood clots. Now blood clots can clog vessels in your body pretty much anywhere but the most commonly known areas where you can get blood clots are in the leg, a so-called deep vein thrombosis or DVT, or in the lungs, a pulmonary embolus or a PE. Now these can be fatal, so it's vitally important that you know what the possible causes are so you know then how to minimise your risk. So what causes blood clots? Well, generally speaking, anything that causes a sluggish circulation. So being inactive can be a precipitating factor, as can advancing age. Anything that makes your blood more likely to clot than normal. So if you've had um, an injury or recent surgery, then these will also make you more prone to blood clot formation. Pregnancy and obesity and Ill any illness which can damage or inflame blood vessels like lupus or um, cancer can also make you more prone to blood clots. Certain medications will also make you more prone to blood clots, things like the combined oral contraceptive pill or hormone replacement therapies. So, moving on to how to prevent blood clots if we now know the causes. My advice to you would be to try to make sure that you walk regularly. This will boost your circulation and make it much less likely that you'll get blood pooling in your veins. Uh, if you're going to have to sit in a constricted place like an aeroplane, then do try and move around at least every hour or so and do the uh, foot and calf exercises that your airline recommends for you. Sometimes people like to wear compression stockings on long haul flights or take an aspirin to help thin the blood. If you're overweight, then losing weight will minimise your risk of blood clots in the future. Um, if you've had a big operation, uh, then compression stockings are usually advised uh, for before the operation and also for afterwards. Some operations, um, the medical staff will actually give you heparin injections to help thin your blood. And this may occur either before or after your surgery. If you're not sure about any of the advice I've given you today, do ask your doctor. I hope that this has been useful for you.